hello good morning and welcome to pro mass recording studio i am bale promise uh, a friend of mine called and said how do you route your your drums your vst midi drums of course i use additive drums too i said it's simple i'm going to show you how to do that but before i go right into it um Quickly, some producers prefer to sequence. After sequencing, they prefer to export the kick, export the snare, and export everything. Then import them back into the project and start mixing. Start grouping and all that. For me, I feel that it's time consuming, space consuming. The other disadvantage about that is once you do that, you won't be able to edit the VST track anymore. Maybe just in case the the artist wants you to change something on the kick or change a different or get a different beat to be difficult of course you have to go back again then start is exporting and importing i feel it's a better way to do that if it is your first time here please feel free to subscribe my channel and click the notification bell so that every time a new video is released you'll be the first to know so uh without wasting much time let's let's go right in so so this is Cubase 5. First thing you go to device, VST instrument, and look for your drums. Of course, I use additive drums too, like I said before. Some other persons prefer to use EZ drums and other out. I will do a different tutorial and I will show you how to rat those ones also. Same process to all. So you click that, let it load. okay then create yeah this is it this is the drums so the first thing you're going to do is um close this first of all go back to your vst instruments then activate all outputs <laughs> okay let me put that off first let me, let me deactivate okay as you can see you just have the master here and the patch so so once you activate all the different channels will just appear you can see them here <clears throat> so the next thing you do is um go over to the instrument the vst instrument and uh, start to route them how do you do that come down here this this last button down here as you can see the volumes are down so first of all raise all the volumes up up to the to the different levels that you want them to be I'm gonna do this for all. All right. The next step is go down here. This is master. This is separate out. This is separate out plus master. What this means? The master here means the, the the drums are not going straight into the line, which is the the tracks. You can see they are, they are just here, and this is your mixer. Let me play with you. you can see that nothing is happening here on the on the on the lines or the, on the tracks so i'm going to stop that then um the next separate out means that you are you are channeling them into the track like this is the kick for example you want to take them into the tracks by passing the master this master here so if i play that you see it moving on the track so, here. so next i'm going to do for me i prefer that one or you can also go out to separate out plus master then that depends on how you can control the sound from here from the other end so i'm going to go by separate plus mastering plus master by the way then click or put on all of them that you want to appear on the track okay so you can see this is the overhead, this is the room, and this is the boss. Then, uh, you no, know, some producers do not always appreciate this uh, natural sound from the master of the drum ambience to appear. It kind of um, conflicts with, it, with with your mix on the track. So, what what to do is just mute this master, and whatever you're getting is from your track. Whatever you get here is directly from your track. Yes, so I will go ahead and create maybe uh, a rule or thereabouts, just just for the demonstration of this whole thing. 
So this is your tom one. So that everything can appear on the track on the last tom. This is your i arts. Is your right? Is a simba. Of course, it's gonna set simbas also. Uh, I'm gonna use this as my crash, as my splash. Okay. Um, all right. <clears throat> okay. Of course, you can see everything moving. This is the um, this is the master. You can see uh, it's not moving yet because it's not moving because I muted it um, back there. So if you want that to play, you can just come on mute, then play. You can see it moving back. So for me, I prefer this way. So um, the last thing I'm going to do before I leave is um, I'm going to show you how to. Of course, you can select. If this doesn't sound great for you, you can go over here to the L, select a different kind of kick. For me, I prefer this one, so I will go with that. I also do that for the snare and every other instrument. There's a trick I use. I will do that on the next tutorial. Let me put a splash here first of all. You can also set your ride to a different one. I will use this one. Okay, the last thing I will do here is how to double your kick and your snare. So I'm this is this is the, the flexi one, two to three. The extraction is that you can use to double your kick and your snare so you can only do that on kick and snare by the way so go back go over here let's double our kick uh let's say um i've used this, let me use this dw kick so what i'll do come over to keep it linking drag it over here this corner here if you say link to kick i've done that so let's solo this one you can see all right let me add this one Can feel it so let's go back to the snare drums um front one okay of course you can do the one that suits you drag it over here go for then link to snare open hit so once i click here it appears here so let's solo this snare this is both this is both let me remove this one you can see you can see so that's how to rock duality drums um so thank you for watching if this was helpful to you as a producer please subscribe my channel just click the red button below and the notification bell so that every time a video is released you'll be the first to know thank you so much i promise from Promas Recording Studio. If you have any questions or if you have contributions, please feel free to put them below on the, the chat line. I'm going to reply them. Of course, if you also need me to do a tutorial on a different thing, you can also ask. Um, I'll, I'll try my best to do that. And lastly, if you need that drum sample, additive drums too, if you have it, fine. If you don't, you can leave your, your Gmail below I will just upload through my Google Drive and send to you. God bless you. Thank you so much.